Let's practice list comprehensions. Let's say we have a list of words, some long, some short. I'm going to create the list just by typing some words in here. A very fine cat goes to the dentist. And then I do split. And what I end up with is a list of strings. And here we go. Here's the list of words. All right. Now, let's say that for some reason you need to eliminate all the small words. So what if we wanted to just keep the longer words? How do, how do we do that? How can we just keep the longer words? Well, there's a naive approach. Which letter in naive has the dots over it? Is it this? Naive approach. Uh, and that would be to create an empty list, like um, long words, and then loop over all the words in words. So four word in words. And then you can append to your new list, long words, append. Um, word, but only if the length of the word is greater than, let's say, three. And then at the end of this loop, then we could print long words. And here we go. We've run it, and here's the, all the words, and then here's just the long words. All right. With this naive approach, we created a new list using one, two, three, four lines of code. Let's use a list comprehension instead. Here's an approach to create a list comprehension from the naive approach. So step one, start with that. So we're going to say long words, gets, and we we'll start with this. Copy and paste what the list comprehension should produce. So what are we what are we getting in here? What are we appending? Well, word. So we copy and paste what the list comprehension should produce. It should produce it should produce zero or more words. Okay? And then step 3, copy the the for loop. So here's the for loop minus the colon at the end of it. And you paste that here. Copy and paste the for loop. Then copy and paste the if. The if is here. And that's it. Now if we print long words, we should see that our two different solutions produce the same results. So here's the naive approach. Create an empty list. Loop over the collection. If the word in the words is greater than three, then add it to the list. Compared with this, long words gets word for word and words if the length of the word is greater than three. Which do you prefer? Um, there's one more thing that a list comprehension can do and let's say that instead of the words themselves what we really want is the length of each word where the word is longer than three letters. So all we have to do here is modify this this is what this is the place what the list comprehension should produce. So here if we just say len of word for word and words, if len of word greater than three. And now when we run, 
our new list doesn't contain the words themselves, but contains the length of each word. So here we've used a list comprehension for two purposes. One is to, to filter, to only include the, the elements we want. And the other is to modify what's in the list. So you're getting something completely different. All right, so that's my little lesson on list comprehensions.